Welcome back, sports gamers. It's the Natural with another Madden title update. The September title update, the third one of this year, and it is a doozy. It is massive. So many fixes and improvements in this. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try something a little bit different. Instead of just going through each and every single one, this one is so big. It's like five pages long. I'm just going to go through the, the biggest things and kind of highlight some. And I'll put the link below uh, in the uh, description so you guys can go and check out and see, you know, if you want to go line by line through it, you can see it yourself. So we're going to go through the major ones. Um, they actually added a new signature celebration to the game. Hopefully they can do this throughout the year and we can see cool things in the NFL. People do new celebrations, new team celebrations, and they can add them into the game. So that's, that's actually um, the update itself is not amazing, but the fact that they can do that is pretty cool. Onto some franchise updates, which got definitely got the biggest attention, the most attention. In this one, two pages of franchise updates. Gonna go through some key ones. They added um, new to do items, so you can see uh, when your player, uh, someone on your team wins a weekly award. Um, uh, upgrade players that appear with someone on your team has a skill point. You'll see that now. Um, also, um, all the footage that I have that you're seeing um, while I'm going through this is actually. Uh, post uh, update footage so everything that you know you guys are saying from the franchise to the gameplay there it's all this is all after the patch that I went there and got this for you guys um, moving on so added new to do item for a pro bowl roster that appears during pro bowl week so you're getting notifications so before you kind of just kind of had to figure it out and but now they actually notify you when these things happen um, which enhances the franchise experience so added XP values to the skill point progression bar on the player card so you can see that now on the player card you can see how much XP they need to the next skill point so you're not just kind of guessing and having no clue out there um, how much XP your player needs to get to the next one updated the draft generated so players at the top of the draft projections are younger this is much needed because they had too many older players 23 24 year old guys coming into the league so there is more realistic and fitting um actually how rookies are coming in and some rookies leave early and you know so the, the ages are definitely uh, more appropriate now fix issue where the backup offensive linemen were making the pro bowl this goes all the way back like a two a year or two I mean, a couple of Maddens. I'm happy they finally got this fixed. This has not just been an issue in this year. This has been in the game for a couple of years where I've seen teams in, in franchises that I've been a part of where their li backup linemen would make the Pro Bowl. So good to see they finally got that solved. Added ability to offer a contract with a salary up to $30 million per year. This is one that a lot of guys on the forums and guys in the comment sections did have issues with. They could not, uh, their top players, they could not offer them uh, enough money to sign them. They wanted more money. They they offered them the max they could. They still got some. They upped that. So hopefully that fixes that problem. Added some missing historical season stats for various players, including Todd Gurley and Odell Beckham Jr. Um, you know that's that's one thing people always lack historical uh, season stats and um, that nature. So that has been added. You can go and check that out. Fixed alignment issues on members menu for cloud franchises. You can see the player menus. Um, the alignments look much better. You can see a lot more stats. You can see a lot more of everything, all the ratings, everything now. They kind of um, resize the columns, so that looks a lot better, and it's a lot more functional. Fix an issue where winning the Super Bowl would award extremely high XP if the XP sliders were adjusted. I have actually seen this one uh, in a franchise. So uh, people won the Super Bowl and got too much XP. So now, even if you adjust your XP sliders, you know that, that was a little bug there, and they fixed that. Group duplicate skill upgrades on player card progression history, so it's easy to read. That's another one that just makes things a little bit easier. Updated the draft generator so players come out with varying QB throwing animations. That's a good one. I, we don't have signature anime, signature QB throwing uh, in the game yet. Um, hopefully, that's something that they can add uh, in, in future uh, iterations of the game. But we do have more quarterbacks. We'll have different throwing motions coming out it's still odd that they let you go in there and change that in the franchise but whatever fixed issue where players featured in draft stores could have unrealistic ratings so that's one thing people always targeted the players in the draft stories that they would have uh you know really souped up ratings or be better that's a little bit toned down this year and they've addressed that here and that one so moving on to visual updates um and some tuning to make user celebrations in-game graphic appear more consistently after sacks 
So if you didn't know, after you get a sack, you can do the same celebration option you have when scoring a touchdown. Um, so now it'll pop up more often than it did before. Fix an issue causing the player to dive in the wrong direction while attempting dive tackles while on a defensive player lock camera. And they also updated the player likeness uh, play for players as well. I will do a separate player likeness video showing off the new face scans for you guys. Um, I, I asked in the comments before, like, did you want me to do like more in game or more just in the franchise? I got like 50 50, so I might just do both. You know, even though that's more work, I think it looks nice doing the uh, in game franchise uh, shot of the player as well as the action shot. So moving right along onto the gameplay. Got a bunch of gameplay fixes in here. I mean, these are all really good good, good fixes. Uh, tuning to decrease the frequency of flump fumbles when using the strip ball mechanic. Oh my gosh, I got I just, just played a game last night and it happened to me. Uh, and, and they also tuned to the frequency of broken tackles with setting the strip ball, uh, ball coach adjustment to aggressive. So now you'll break more tackles when someone has that set and you won't fumble as much, which it was so OP. Like anytime right behind, someone can knock the ball way too easy. Tuning to make the defense more susceptible to running plays with setting the pass uh, rush coach is aggressive. See, I don't know about this one because in this gameplay, I wanted to test that. I put on aggressive the whole time and I still stopped the run pretty easy. So um, maybe it was just less block shed or maybe I was, I don't know, maybe I just called, I, I had numbers in the box and it worked. But I, I, I had to do more testing on that one. But it seemed, I thought it would be a little bit more noticeable than it was. Um, not so as much as the weak box where my guys would get pancake, but I thought my opponent would be able to just run the ball easily when I switched to put aggressive, but not really. Um, so I do more practice, more uh, more work on that one. Tuning to increase the out of position penalty for using defensive players on offense. Yep, and tuning to decrease the number of fumbles that occur when a ball carry is tackled by getting his feet taken out from behind. And so let's move on. Another gameplay one: pass coverage. A lot of pass coverage fixes here, and they needed it because the zones this year, as you guys know, have had some issues. Fix an issue preventing cover three and cover four zones from co um, covering fake screen wheels prop uh, improperly. So before, um, especially with cover three, there was issues where um, the people run the fake screen wheel, and then the the safety would run over and and guard the uh, the wheel and just leave the streak uh, in the slot wide open for a touchdown. So that's been fixed. Also, they fixed issue and cover four palms that will overplay uh, out routes from the slot instead of covering the street right behind it for another touchdown. Fixed issue causing fade routes to on a bunch of formations get too open frequently versus cover four palms to cover four quarters. Um, yeah, the cover four just hasn't been as great as it was. It just it's kind of a lot about a bunch of bugs. Stuff was leaving wide open. Tuning to reduce the time it takes. Um, oh, no, let me skip this one. So a fixed issue causing the deep post routes out of bunch formation to get open too frequently versus cover four palms. Fix the issue with cover four quarters and leave the seam route uncovered with the uh, running back route to the same side. Fix the issue preventing defenders in match zones from properly covering double move. I just got caught with a touchdown last night in solo battles with that one where I was in like uh, cover six and they made a double move and then my safety just flew up and, and you know, he, he man matched and then just got beat deep and it was a touchdown. So <laughs> that's a good fix they put on that one. I mean, when, you, when you're calling zone coverage, you should have better coverage. It, 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 even when it man matches, you still should have, stay over the top. You should not just get beat by a double move. Like, I mean, you might as well just call man, what's the point? Fix an issue uh, that will sometimes prevent the ultimate team ability footsteps from applying from the proper catching penalty to nearby receivers. That's more of a, a month thing. So more gameplay, it's the real player motion now, more specifically real player motion and animations. Something that has been very wonky. It's a good, a good addition, to, okay addition to the game, but has a lot of bugs, so they're trying to fix that and patch that up. Fix the issue causing the center to sometimes get stuck in the snap animation after snapping when the, we're playing on any game speed besides normal. Man, not just normal, the center, the center issues are well documented in Madden 19, where either the center just just falling on the ground, the center not catching his block, the center spazzing out and letting the DT right in, the center getting the ball and running down the field with it. Uh, so there's a lot of issues with the center around, and and that's not just this was last year. So real player motion just kind of exacerbated even worse. 
Uh, tuning to decrease the frequency of AI ball, AI ball carries uses the one cut mechanic. I've seen that where the CPU will break away for a touchdown and then start doing one cuts all over the field and get caught from behind. So it'll be more realistic with that. Fix the issue causing a short delay after the handoff when playing on slow or very slow game speeds. I'm not sure. I know many people that uh, play on slow or very slow. People think the normal is too slow in this year. So, uh, well, it's good to fix for you guys. Fix an issue preventing QBs and pistol formations from properly finishing their rollouts on play action plays. Also fix an issue causing the QB to delay when trying to set his feet for a pass while scrambling, which will result in an incorrect throw or a run on the, on the, on throwing the run penalty. I have seen this, so it's good that that got the, and I've seen times where even the quarterbacks are facing the wrong way, coming out of a rollout or coming out of a play action. The heads turn back towards the other side of the goal. And that, you know, so hopefully that, that I'll do more tests on that. That one uh, clears it up. So a little, a uh, couple of pre-play, pre-play fixes as well. Further tuning to improve defensive player movement out of the huddle breaks. That's one I've seen people in the comment section last time comment on that it looks unrealistic when players break the huddle. Um, either they're moving too fast or too jerky, so they're trying to clean that up there. On to another big one um, that they uh, really addressed was catching. And people have had a ton of problems with catching and drops and all that. Let's take a look what they updated with that. They updated the formula to determine the defender's ability to play the ball in the air to allow for more opportunities for defenders to use the jump catches, specifically user controlled defenders. So now, instead of using spectacular catch for to determine if a defender can play a jump catch or a 180 catch when not facing the quarterback, they're now using a combination of jump and agility ratings in order for the defender to have the ability to play a high ball. This change will have no impact on offensive players and will be used across all game styles and difficulty levels. So that is really cool. I know a lot of people having issues getting animations and uh, from their defenders. Um, let's see another one here. Fix the issue preventing a catch animation from playing on user control defenders when holding the play ball button before the pass is released. So now, uh, uh, so now they'll just get an early ball hawk penalty where before nothing was happening at all. I think that's one issue people were having. They were hitting the, trying to pick it off and stuff like that or play ball early and it just wasn't responding at all now they'll at least get the early ball hawk penalty and they'll probably drop it but at least they'll make a play on the ball and it won't just fly right past their head um tuning to better balance catch outcomes for mid-air collisions interactions uh that occur at the catch point with both the defender and the receiver jumping in the air specifically to reduce the frequency of completed passes when throwing high balls to cover receivers yeah, that high pass is, like we said in our review, is pretty OP, so that hopefully that'll tune that down. On the blocking, which is uh, something they have been working hard on, but it's always a struggle each year in the game, made improvements to blocking logic for running backs and pass protection to improve blitz pickups dealing with slot cornerbacks and contain assignment. Thank you, thank you. I mean, all those quote-unquote nano blitz videos out there are done where they got all they were doing was sliding the the db to the edge and put him on a contain he would come off the edge and the running back but not now that's picked up tuning to improve pass blocking logic versus blitz pickups when a user control defender or a qb spy defender idles in the line of scrimmage to force blockers to target him another one a common uh thing done by guys trying to generate nano blitzes tuning to improve blockers getting out of their run block double teams into their secondary target Tuning to improve blocking logic for crack blockers on toss crack running plays. That's nice. Then those will finally work properly. Fix the issue causing the center to keep the ball on the pass mechanics drill in the skills trainer gauntlet. Fix an issue catching a specific defensive win block shit to occur too frequently versus run block double team. This is one that I've seen um, especially um, on stretches where you would have a, a tight end and a, uh, a tackle and the defender would win every single time, even though um, it was a, a double team or, or win, win too frequently. They actually have, have an NFL rules category on this one where they fix a rare issue on punt blocks where the ball will go out of bounds and the kicking team will incorrectly retain possession of the ball on the opposite side of the field. And they added support for new NFL rules point of emphasis. Any ball carrier who dives forward to give himself up on the play will be ruled down in the spot of the ball when the first body part that is not a hand or foot hits the ground, whether he is touched by the defender or not. You can see that in this gameplay, had a user when he scrambled and he just dove on the ground, he didn't even slide, and they blew him dead immediately. 
Now, I still would, I still would suggest sliding instead of diving, but hey, now it's a little bit easier to give yourself up as a quarterback or a running back. Um, they have various PC updates that include mouse, keyboard, and various stability issues. And lastly, we're going to talk about a little mud stuff at the end. For Madden Ultimate Team, made improvements to the squad's lobby screen that will show the name of the event that's currently active. A fixed issue causing the base overall of the player to appear when placing an uh, upgraded item into a set. And the biggest one, the new latency icon have been added to the online games so players will now be able to see when they're having connection issues. This is a server feature that will be, that'll be uh, they're going to experiment with and get feedback and um, you know we're going to see if they should leave it on permanently. So let me know what you guys think about that one. Let me know in the comments below what issues you're still having that haven't been addressed. Uh, they, this is a huge update. I mean, they fixed so many things here. Like I said, I only went over, uh, you know, I, I highlight a couple of them. And it's still a 15-minute video. It's crazy. I, I didn't want a long video. But just, just going on the highlighted things that they fixed in this, uh, you know, it, it's a long video. So let me know what you guys think. Hope you liked the video. Make sure you drop a like. And if you love our content, SEO. Subscribe for more Madden 19 and tips, gameplay, and news from all your favorite sports games. This is the Natural Sports Game Online.com. I'm out. I was in the bando along.